I heard this saying once, people who are often bored are quite often boring. And wow, it really couldn't be more true than it is for someone highly narcissistic. In this video, I explain why a lot of toxic narcissistic people are just a complete and utter snooze fest. When you make it someone else's job to keep you entertained and busy and to keep your fragile little ego boosted, guess what? You don't really take much time to develop that and learn how to do that on your own. Narcissists make everything in this world somebody else's responsibility. On top of that issue, they get bored very easily, leaving a lot of your life up to other people. <laughs> Again, we have to go back to, it doesn't always go exactly the way you think it's going to because you put your life in the hands of somebody else. And ultimately, what happens? Well, there isn't someone around every second of the day. And so many people can only do so much for a narcissist who has ridiculous, unrealistic expectations. We can definitely also have way too much of a good thing. And even when they do, they get bored of that very quickly. They're just bored in general, very quickly and very easily. And I feel that a part of that also that we can tie in here is because I think highly narcissistic people are extremely confused about drama. If we know one thing about a narcissist, and we know a lot of things, <laughs> but we know they love drama, they'll tell you they hate it. And that is the number one indicator that they love it. They love the fighting, the chasing, the whirlwindy romances. And it's like the old soap operas on television. Well, that's kind of the point. It makes great television. It's entertaining for drama queens. Well, that's how narcissists really need their lives to be, to keep them entertained and to keep them stimulated. They always have to have something going every second a war with somebody, or more than one somebody, a battle, a fight, someone they don't like, they need a partner to team up with. This isn't excitement, that's the confusion. What this all does is it gets people upset, anxious, sad, angry, and so on. This isn't the excitement of an adventure that more well-adjusted people are looking for. Again, narcissistic confusion. Drama isn't excitement. And I feel as if narcissists have a hard time separating those two things, but I think they have a hard time doing it because I really feel as if in that moment, it's all the same for them. Drama is exciting and excitement is when everything is stirred up and everyone's upset and uncomfortable and it's just high anxiety. It can be hard to find someone to talk to about what you're going through. Friends and family can tire of hearing your story, not be supportive, and not know what to say. But you don't have to endure everything that you're going through alone. I'm here to listen. I offer services, help, and support for survivors who feel like they need it. If you're interested in my services, send an email to bookachatwithjess at gmail.com for more information. If you'd like, you can visit my website and get that same information, and you can book those sessions with me there as well. I am here to help every survivor I can get through this. I also believe that narcs have issues with boredom because they're so focused on getting supply. A narcissist is essentially an addict. They're addicted to what's called narcissistic supply, you know, attention, an ego boost, the compliment, really whatever it is that they're looking for. And addictions of any kind, no matter what it is, gambling or drinking drugs, needing people to do what narcs need people to do, it just takes up a lot of time. Addiction takes your time. And a narc is usually very focused on getting and keeping supply, juggling all the people, all those balls up in the air, all the stories, all the lies, all the running around, acting like a busy idiot, as I refer to them, it leaves little to no time, basically, to develop a personality or worry about hobbies or anything like that. A person with an addiction 
most of the time, uh, you know, unless they're under the influence of the addiction, they're a pretty dull one dimensional person. And so I want to tie some of the previous points together here as I move through what I want to talk about. An addiction to drama is also a very real thing, and it can make more normal stuff, more mundane, the day-to-day, even more boring for a narcissist. It can cause them to run and chase after dramatic things, and that is where all of their time goes. It's a wild goose chase with some of these people. They love the high they get. It's no different with any kind of addict. They're, They're chasing the high mainstream, more normal, however you want to call it, just doesn't work for them. Every aspect of their life needs to be dramatic, theatrical, volatile, toxic, and so on. Another whole bit about this, other illnesses can also impact people, not just narcissists. Those with high levels of anxiety and or (laughs) depression usually shy away from a lot of activities social situations, and people. And it can cause people, like narcissists, some of them become very hermit-like, very reclusive. It can just overall lead people to not being very socialized. A lot of narcissists have other illnesses, other disorders, mental disorders, high levels of anxiety, depression, paranoia, and it can cause them to not be as social as they would maybe normally be under other circumstances. People who are bored all of the time, leaving things up to other people are very, very boring indeed. (laughs) Now, is this true for every narcissist? Of course not. You should never watch any of my videos, nor anybody else's videos for that matter, and feel like if you're not experiencing what the presenter is talking about, that you're not dealing with a narcissist or things are wrong or you're the problem, anything like that. Most people have videos that do cover general blanketed topics. We're just trying to reach as many people as we can. And I've said it for years now. Not all narcissists are created equally. Some are very good conversationally. They're very interesting. They have hobbies. They're going and doing things. Narcissists will love bomb differently. Some don't even really love bomb at all. It's more rare, but it happens. Every situation with a narcissist is not a romantic one. That's what my channel primarily focuses on, but we can have friends who are narky, parents or kids. It happens. It's okay. It's just something to keep in mind. If the person that you're dealing with who you feel is narcissistic doesn't necessarily behave the way that some of these videos are talking about, narcissism is something that runs on a spectrum, just like anybody with any disorder. Lots of people have obsessive compulsive. Some people flip a light switch. Some people wash their hands. Maybe two people do the exact same thing. Two other people do something completely opposite. It's all on a spectrum. Everyone is doing some things differently, even though they might share the disorder. It doesn't mean that everything is necessarily topsy-turvy for you. So I also want to put that out there because this is not true necessarily of every narc. So was the narcissist that you were dealing with just like super lame (laughs) and super boring off spending time watching paint dry and finding that more fascinating. Share with me your experience if you feel comfortable down in the comments. Have a great day, Survivor, and take care of yourself.